morning everybody welcome back to the channel um, so today's video this morning's video is gonna be uh, kind of a challenge that um, that I'm facing video <laughs> so and I'm sure a lot of um, DTF printers depending on where you're located um, have the same issue that I'm kind of dealing with so uh, my setup currently is in our uh, garage uh, hopefully uh, short term we'll get into a shop at some point where I can better acclimate it um, but what we're having is uh, humidity issues so we live in Boise Idaho Boise Idaho and um, our humidity right now is about 33 percent which is really low and these printers they like to be you know 45 55 percent humidity even the um, shaker oven believe it or not it's not anything for the powder or for the oven or for the curing it's for static electricity um, is causing my problem where um, i'm getting because of the dry weather i'm getting too much of a static buildup on the intake tray into the shaker and what happens is um, the film will stop or start you know the static electricity is stopping it from sliding nicely on that entrance tray and once it starts doing that the film backs up and starts to bulge up on the printer because it can't go anywhere and then the cage assembly with the heads in it starts um, striking the film and ink and once it does that you've ruined that print and that has to um, be thrown out so uh, came out this morning to the garage it's 76 degrees currently and it's 34% uh, humidity uh, it was like 33 when I came out I've got my humidifiers going um, my garage is about 1600 square foot I'll give you a little uh, view of the garage space here so the garage is about 1600 square foot this is a, our two car garage area so I park um, normally I park my truck in here but uh, everything we're working on is over in that side of the garage currently um, one thing we're gonna do too is over here on this wall we're gonna put up um, a mini split AC unit to help uh, with the temperatures in here when it gets really hot outside so this side of the garage here is um, 60 foot by about 18 foot wide for my the fifth wheel and um, so we're gonna have all my 3D printers and laser engravers and stuff are down that way. So the problem with this is, you know, it's a huge area to try to um, find the control where it's a garage. I mean, we don't have anything in here. So I, I bought these two Lacey dolls off Amazon. So this one's running right now. If you look at the unit, it's at 59. So I think it thinks it's at uh, 59% humidity. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I have one back in this back corner as well. Running that one. I think it's 67 in the corner. So trying to get this where it needs to be. There's my current, current temps. And humidity 76 to 34. So the problem is, is when the film comes out, I'll you know, get this to come up on here. So we do this with one hand. There you go. So when the film's coming down the tray, I'll just run it. As it enters this part down into the shaker, let's see if it'll do it this morning. It might not because this is the first run. It's after you've been doing it for a while, it's when it starts doing it. So it's already gone beyond where it normally has a problem. So the problem normally hits before the film starts dropping into the powder bin. So what happens is when it binds up on the metal because of the static, this film here starts to bulge up. And then this part of the assembly cage um, starts to run across and you know scratch the ink that you just printed. So definitely not ideal. I'll bring this back up. One one click of uh, humidity, but it went up 35. 
And again, it needs to be 45 to 55 uh, percent humidity. Here's my other half here. She's gonna have to move these prints this morning because you really, when you're having this situation, you really have to baby it to get the film in and to monitor it uh, very closely because it's, I mean, you don't want to be, you know, three quarters into a 200 inch roll and all of a sudden have it mangle up. I mean, you can always, you know, stop it, cut it, you know, redo the artwork, you know, print what's left. I mean, it's not fun when that happens. So, uh, oh, there's our third partner. Hey. Say That's hi, me Mia. Mia. So we're gonna get at it this morning and see if we can get some prints done for some customers and uh, we'll uh, keep you updated. So thanks for watching. If this is happening to you and you've come up with an idea or a solution to this problem, let me know, I'd love to know. So thanks, we'll chat at you soon, bye bye.